I play a guy named Nixon, and um, he's not very uh, friendly. He's not very nice. Uh, big surprise. And um, without telling too much about the plot, he's uh, looking for something, and when he gets what he thinks he's looking for, it's not what it's supposed to be, and it makes him pretty angry. Playing the bad guys kind of fun because you know not everybody wants to do that but they someone has to do it so it's kind of fun to be someone that's completely not who I am in real life um, I'm a pretty silly uh, happy-go-lucky really ridiculously um, silly person and, and if you really know me uh, so when I get to do these kind of things it's just kind of really just being a kid and you know it's cops and robbers but i'm the robber you know for, for lack of a better way of putting it <laughs> sure my son, well, I know. Me, my son always asks me why why do you always why do you have to play the bad guy even though he's he's, he's barely seen uh any of the stuff that, that i've done but he'll ask are you a good guy or a bad guy and i'll tell him and i'll say well somebody's got to do it i say it's you know it's actually harder to play the bad guy anyone can smile and, and be nice because that's who we are supposed to be in, in, in real life as humans, but it's hard to, should be harder to play someone completely um, outside of who, who you truly are. It's not really the conversations that I have with him, it's the conversations he has with me, because, you know, he was young, but people, a lot of people just assume that it's some fuzzy memory, but it was at an age, and I feel like, the kids of his generation because of you know iphones and the cameras and videos everything's such so accessible that they're able to look at last week or last year and i feel like those memories are easily uh easy to be recalled and they they retain those memories and obviously when something as traumatic as what he went through uh happens that's something you never forget and um he was almost five and you know, he he tells me the details and his stories never changed. Um, the, the the way it happened and it just it's it's heartbreaking and and the things that he says. It, I feel like it's harder for me to, to deal with uh, just hearing it and and just visualizing what what he dealt with and what he saw. Uh, so it's uh, to answer your question, I guess. Um, I just listen to, to what he has to say because a lot of times I don't I don't have any answers for for why or you know he just he he has questions for me or he'll make statements about you know I I I, I wish this or you know I, I wish this didn't happen or why did this have to happen and and I just give him you know a good squeeze and I usually rub his head and kiss him on the cheek and. You know, tell him I love him, and that's, I, you know, just kind of put put my love onto him, and and that's all I can really do because I'm I'm not one of those people that, you know, everyone. Some people say everything uh, happens for a reason, and there's no mistakes in life, and I, it's just hard for me to to get behind that kind of mantra when when you see your son have to deal with that, and I, I wish I had some rosy, um, you know, colorful rainbow. Um, reason or something that's going to make him feel good, but I, I, I don't, and I don't think there is. I, I'm just, I tell him, I just, I'm glad that he's here, and um, I love him, and that's all I can do is try to try to set him up for happiness, uh, despite the obvious uh, gaping hole in his heart and all of our hearts, and that's uh, that's a daily. Uh, challenge to be honest mm -hmm. with you. And well, he's like not it's hard, harder yeah. for the adults sometimes than it is for mm -hmm. him. Um, you know, but he still has uh, plenty of memories. He's, he's never going to forget his mom. The, the, you know, I think the legacy for him as he gets older and he's interested in watching things and uh, looking at her work one day. And I think, you know, that stuff will kind of speak for itself and he'll really get to appreciate the, uh, the impact she had on people and how talented she was and, um, you know, kind of who who is his mom really was uh, on the outside, um, not just in, in his home 
in his home life. I think the only stuff he's seen would be uh, what grandma, uh, his, uh, his other grandma has shown him. I think he's seen some bits and uh, pieces, but it, to be honest, it's, it's it's still extremely hard for me to, uh, I can't watch video. I can't, um, pictures are still hard to look at. Uh, you know, we got pictures in the house here and, and it's like, it's like that thing you try to avoid, you know, it's, it's, it's still extremely hard for me to, and every now and then I'll, I'll, I'll make eye contact with these, these pictures and whether it's the three of us or just her and him. And it's just, uh, it's really hard to, you know, to, to accept, you know, Yeah. Um, even though we're coming upon three years, it just, it just doesn't make sense to me still. And it's something that I'll probably struggle with the rest of my life, but you know, you, you used to see these kind of tragedies happen in, in the news or you see it, you know, or in Hollywood, you see it and you're like, man, that's, that's so messed up. And then you go on about your day and, and life goes on and that's, that's the truth for for everyone in life when bad things happen but when it happens to you it's the same thing as they say uh you know life goes on and and people go on about their lives and and you have to try to do the the same thing as hard as it may be uh some days are harder than others and um that's all you can really do is keep on keep on pushing that's i try to do my best to keep them happy he's a pretty happy kid and um He's smart, he's healthy, and that's, that's all I can really ask for.